Welcome to Emotional Freedom TV. This is episode number two and I'm Mary Henderson. Well, thank you so much for all your comments and your feedback from episode one. It was very inspirational and uh, very uh, thankful for all the people that took time out to actually send us uh, your messages. Today's episode is about something that uh, is very close to my heart and something that I really wanted to share with you all today because uh, it's a topic that I feel that uh, we never talk about but also it's so in alignment with what we're trying to do at Emotional Freedom TV. This week I witnessed a uh, presentation by a young lady by the name of Candy Chang. Candy's from New Orleans and she presented at the TED conference on a topic which was very interesting and it was called When I Die, I Want To. And what she does, which is very interesting, is she uses public places and allows the community to write commentary on those uh, public uh, uh, environments, usually their buildings that have been left behind and no one's taking care of them and what she does is she allows the community to create art and also create dialogue, a voice, an expression if you like. Emotional Freedom TV is not too dissimilar to that because since my passion is technology, I like to combine the power of technology and content and give myself the opportunity to be able to deliver information to all of our, our viewers. And after listening and watching uh, her presentation on TED.com, I realised that utilising technology, whether it be social media or a website, is truly a public space. It gives us an opportunity to provide comments to each other and to receive commentary from one another. So with that being said, I really want to touch on a topic today about content and information and about how at Emotional Freedom TV we're so passionate about giving you the opportunity to understand and take a moment in time to truly try and apply the information that we give to you. You see, information is of no value to us if we don't actually stop, take time and think about the information that we're absorbing, whether we're reading it or listening to it, or even possibly crossing paths with somebody we haven't seen for a very long time and they give us information that makes us think for that moment. We're so absorbed and consumed by our day-to-day -day conversations, things we have to do, stresses we have to deal with. And those conversations that we have during the day, if you really add them up, they're so insignificant. Things like, don't forget to you know, pick up a bottle of milk from the supermarket. Don't forget to get petrol. He said, she said, we said, they said. Things like that consume us, unfortunately. Those things don't ever provide us with a return on investment to our life. What they do is they keep us in the past. They make sure that they keep us in our old paradigms. So in other words, you've heard the saying, you always get what you always got. That's really what happens. So information that we provide you through Emotional Freedom TV can only benefit you if you stop in your day, be it five minutes, half an hour, one hour or two, and understand the information, absorb it, allow it to challenge you so that you can apply the information to your life and or share the information to other people close to you in your life. It's exactly what I did. I took a lot of time out in my day to truly understand the information that changed me and that made me understand a new way of life. That new way of life was the only way that I could arrive at a point where I could truly, truly do what I'm doing today and something I'm very, very passionate about. Not just the ability to share information with you, but the ability to share information through my words in my books. 
Today's episode is a dedication to Candy Chang. I figured that since this week there's a lot of hype around her uh, presentation, I thought that we, as a community, can create hype using social media and uh, a technology to share with one another, not necessarily what I will do before I die, but to share information and inspire one another. You see, if we don't live in the now and we continue to live in the past with all those noises that consume our days, how can we move forward? How can we understand the magic that waits for us? How can we truly understand the power of things like vulnerability and fear and all those negative things that we experience throughout the day? Fear, being afraid of the unknown, not knowing what to do, not knowing how to make a decision in your life or in a business deal, whatever it may be. That power of vulnerability can only be actioned in the now. And essentially, that's what Candy Chang is really talking about. It's the ability to create a voice so that we can all be heard, whether it's to one another, whether it's to ourselves, or whether it's to a broader community. We can't do that if we're constantly stuck in the past. It is, it is absolutely not possible. What we need to do is just stop and listen and take a moment in time to truly understand that vulnerability is where the magic lies. To get to vulnerability though, you need to allow. And to allow, you need to stop. And to stop, you need one thing that can challenge the way that you think. And that's what today's episode is all about. Now, on the topic of vulnerability, a woman by the name of Brene Brown, who is a researcher and psychologist, she talks about specifically the topic of vulnerability and the power of vulnerability. And to step into vulnerability is to be courageous. How true is that? I've experienced exactly what she spoke about also on TED.com. I'm very passionate about the topic of vulnerability because I truly believe we don't understand what it truly means to our life. If we don't understand the power of the unknown, we just cannot possibly achieve the potential that awaits for us because we'll be constantly caught up in yesterday's news or yesterday's conversations, last year's conversations, 10 year ago conversations, and those conversations, as I said before, never provide you with a return on investment. All they do is keep you in a stuck environment so that you'll always get what you always got. My suggestion is to read Brene Brown's, Brown's book or go to TED.com, search for Brene Brown and listen to what she has to say. If you go to our Facebook page, I've uploaded both Brene Brown's talk at TED.com and also Candy Chang. But really, it comes down to you. And these episodes that we provide you with are just an instigator, the opportunity for you to listen to what I have to say based on my experience and based on the information that I have been listening to and reading and watching that I want to share with you. Vulnerability is the start of your life. It's the place that you go to where the magic awaits, awaits you. I can't say it any clearer than that. I can't tell you what will happen because it's your journey. But what I can tell you is if you just allow and understand how to quieten down those emotions and the noises in your mind and step into that unknown, the place we call fear, and allow for the magic to unravel itself. And sooner rather than later, you'll find that there is something magical that waits you. It could be your purpose, or it could be a new perception. Now, wouldn't that be amazing? Wouldn't it be amazing that your life could actually change? Wouldn't it be amazing that your reality is no longer the reality you saw yesterday? 
wouldn't it be amazing that finally, finally, you can set yourself free because you just allowed the magic to come into your life. So today's episode is about that. It's about vulnerability. It's about understanding the fear within. And that fear is nothing to be afraid of. It's an opportunity for you to stop and for you to listen. Maybe pick up a book. Maybe go to TED.com and maybe watch Brene Brown's talk or Candy Chang's talk. Be inspired. Really understand what they're saying and apply that information to your life. I can't stress enough how vulnerability has changed my life. It truly has on so many levels. The place where I most feared to go is the place that I ended up stepping into, experiencing, having to let go of all my insecurities and just experience that of which was waiting for me, which was the magic of a life that I could only imagine that I could have. A feeling of being comfortable within myself, unlike I've never experienced before. But the starting point of vulnerability is to understand the power of it. And the only way to understand the power of it is to listen to somebody talk about it that's experienced in it and that has dedicated a lifetime to it. So on that note, I'd like to leave you and ask you from this episode to go to TED.com immediately, key in Brene Brown, B-R-E-N-E, Brown, B-R-O-W-N, and watch her talk on vulnerability. And then go to TED.com again, key in Candy Chang, and watch her presentation on Before I Die, I Want To. And on that note, I very much look forward to seeing you in episode three, where we'll truly start getting into the content that you've all been waiting for. Thank you and have a fantastic day.